Hello, this is Dave Valley here again. We're going to be taking apart this tractor today. This is a 1952 Harry Ferguson tractor. The clutch has begun to stick on it, which means basically whenever you're pushing on the clutch to get it out of gear, it keeps going because the clutch plate is stuck to the flywheel. Okay, so let's see here. First thing that we're going to do, we're going to take off this hood um, and we're going to have to then separate anything that is on this side of the tractor or anything that's on this side of the tractor. We're going to have to get those separated so that we can actually break it apart here in the middle. Um, so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be removing this hood. This hood has a couple bolts on either side. Pretty simple hood. Um, and that's about that. Okay, finally got that hood off there. And we had a issue. The side over here is original. Uh, the bolt was a three quarter inch bolt. Uh, and you see it actually has a little square nut inside of this housing. On this side, it still has a little square nut in the housing, but yet the bolt that was on there was a 9 16 inch. It was really long and they had it double nutted, so it went back off. But we got it out of there. All right, what we got to work on next is we got to disconnect some of these uh, radio alarms and some other wires and things. One of the first things that you need to do is you're gonna to need to disconnect the battery, take it out, uh, shut off your fuel, and then we'll work from there, disconnecting the starter and uh, this little cable here to the engine coil. So, anyway, no further ado, we're gonna get started on that. Okay, so we've got some things disconnected already. Um, we disconnected this wire from the engine coil. Um, we disconnected the starter. We took the, pulled the battery out. Um, we do have the fuel shut off. Um, let's walk around this way. What we did here is we actually, we're going to try to leave the tank on. Um, but basically, these two bolts right here um, that go on the, the tank, that hold the tank onto this battery tray. This battery tray is connected to the back half of the tractor. So, what we did, we just took the bolts out and we stuck a board under there just a little, just to wedge up just a little bit. That way we don't have to remove this heavy tank and we don't have to remove any fuel lines or anything like that. Um, we also disconnected this breather here. We took the exhaust off and so next I was getting ready to take off this uh, alternator, single wire alternator cable because uh, it feeds back here where the battery was. We also had to take off this the choke for the, for the, for the carburetor. And uh, we also have this fuel pressure, uh, or sorry, oil pressure sending line that we're going to have to disconnect as well. And then after that, we're going to take off these uh, radio alarms. And then we'll be ready to split it. So we got these radio alarms removed, or actually separated. And we got the tie rods separated and, and put back. You just, just lay it back over here because it'll have a fulcrum right there at that ball joint. Um, Came across a funny thing was I was expecting this to be very similar to a Ford 8N breakdown um, split, but I noticed there's this extra bolt right there that is on top that is not on the 8N, and it just has a nut on this side. You take the nut off rather than taking the bolt out. So that was interesting. I just wanted to kind of point that out that that's the difference in the Ford 8N and this 1952. Harry Ferguson. Okay, so we got the tractor in half. However, I did not take a video of it. My bad. So it went a lot easier than I was thinking it would go, except for whenever I, whenever I was coming to try to pull it apart, I didn't realize, <laughs> I was an idiot, that you had to take off this plate too. This plate that was on here, yeah. You have to take it off or else the flywheel won't come out. So, anyway, uh, we got that out and she came apart real easily. So, there she is. Now we're going to go ahead and look at this clutch a little bit. You can tell obviously it's got a lot of oil and stuff around it. A little bit of leaking back in here. Um, we're also going to replace our throwout bearing. Um, and 
Also our light bearing inside there. You can't really see it from here, but we're gonna take it apart and see what we got. Yeah, it was pretty nasty. And it was even stuck on there after I undid all the bolts. So uh, it's clear, kind of clear why it's sticking on there. Look at all this. So anyway, I'm gonna replace that sucker, clean this up, and ooh, you can replace this bearing here. See, that doesn't feel like that turns at all. And that's probably could be another reason why it was sticking. So anyway, uh, we're gonna replace all that, and we'll get back to you. All right, so. Got the positioning bearing out of there. It was actually a brass, solid, solid piece that uh, that seemed to work work pretty fine. But I decided I'd replace it anyway since it came with the kit. Um, so I got my new one in there. I did do the bread trick over here. Where what you do is you take a little bit of moist bread and you shove it in the hole, and then you take like a bolt and you stick it in there and hammer it in, and the the uh, the bearing actually comes straight out and it works like a charm. So now over here, I've already taken the throwout bearing out. Um, I got my new one and got the actual mount for it. Um, so I'm going to be putting that on there. And that's next. Okay, I've got the new clutch on. It's really simple. Uh, it really helps too to have this alignment tool. Uh, you stick it in there into the, into the alignment bearing and uh, then it'll hold the clutch in while you're putting the mounting plate on there, the clutch plate. So, and I got the new throwout bearing on there. So we're ready to slide her back together. One of the things I think I forgot to mention was um, these bolts for half inch, half inch bolts here on the clutch plate. Um, uh, so there's six of them. They're relatively easy to take out the back end. 